Fresh changes are coming to the Nexus, and this time, we're focusing on the core gameplay experience. First up is the new camera perspective. The in-game view has been increased to give you better visibility and clarity as you fight alongside your team. Over time, we've added several heroes with longer attack ranges, and the new perspective helps you follow the action no matter which hero you're playing. We've reworked stealth mechanics to make stealth heroes easier to spot while they're in motion and completely invisible while standing still. This change will assist with balance on all levels of play and solidify stealth as a strategic advantage rather than a visual test. Keeps and Forts will now reveal stealth heroes if they come within range, but stealth heroes will remain non-targetable and will not appear on the minimap. To support these changes, all stealth heroes have been buffed. Samuro's mirror image ability is now more efficient, allowing players to choose where they want the real Samuro to spawn based on your mouse cursor's position. Additionally, his trait will allow him to switch places with one of his images. The ability has a large cooldown that is greatly decreased by taking his Illusion Master heroic. Nova has increased mobility and stealth, and she can activate her cloak ability to go invisible immediately. Additionally, the overall damage of her Snipe Master ability has been increased, and her clones now deal damage baseline. Valera gains a mid-distance teleport after breaking stealth, and her silence and blind abilities have had their durations increased. Lastly, Zeratul has a new heroic ability, Might of the Nerezine, which allows him to duplicate the last ability he cast, but for less damage. His Vorpal Blade ability allows him to teleport to the last unit he struck with a basic attack for a short time. Another major focus has been ensuring that the early game is meaningful and engaging without increasing the overall match length. Towers now have infinite ammunition, encouraging you to actively push with your minions in the lane to destroy forts, instead of defeating enemies' minions and passively waiting for their defenses to fall. Standalone towers have been removed, but the experience they granted and the damage they dealt has been added to the remaining structures. Also, each map's first objective timer has been standardized to either 90 seconds or 3 minutes. Both have a 30-second warning, so you have time to prepare. Even region globes have been updated. They will transition into a neutral state after a few seconds, allowing them to be picked up by either team. Your actions in the lane will matter more, and small skirmishes can now have a greater impact on the overall outcome. Mercenaries now bring more to the fight. For example, casters in a night camp now have an aura that increases the spell armor of units within range. Hellbats reduce the armor of heroes they attack, and heroes will be able to dodge attacks from neutral siege giants. We've continued to optimize our matchmaking system so that it takes your individual performance and contributions into account instead of just tracking victories and defeats. This will further assist with matchmaking accuracy by reviewing your past moments of triumph when assembling your next team. Change is the one constant in the Nexus, and your feedback makes a difference. Comment or subscribe to Heroes of the Storm to send us your thoughts, and we'll see you in the Nexus.